up y'all welcome back to another daily vlog uh we are out cruising right now for sure see y'all so um yeah y'all uh i'm gonna try to uh swing by some places to see if um because I'm, I'm looking for like some some space right now so dealership right now oh man uh because yeah you know i want to check out some cars last time i had cruise by over there uh they had some new some new cars upstairs and so like you know i am thinking about getting something but i also in the process like i said of moving so y'all so i'm wondering when i uh when i was cruising by over there the last time they had like uh it looked like they had like uh the porsche cayenne up there but it, i don't know it might have been the yours i don't know but it looked the shape of it yeah i'm not too sure but if it's yours that'll be heck of tight it's, the yours is it's a nice vehicle i haven't seen it in person so if they do have it up there that'll be pretty chill uh, and cool too and it'll be some really good contact for y'all to see um, yeah y'all so uh, we still cruising right now I'm trying to switch the camera view oh no I can't never mind but, um, anyway I'll see y'all there in a second alright y'all so we at the dealership uh, let me check out some of these cars you know what I'm saying so we steady grinding, we steady hustling, making sure we get these, uh, blah, blah, blah. make sure we're getting y'all, uh, this good content and everything like that. As you can see, um, you know what I mean? Making everything possible. Uh, seeing what I could bring y'all to the channel too is that, and like right now I'm actually looking at, I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm looking at this Porsche up here. Ooh. I got my G Wagon up front. What y'all think? Should I bring a G-Wagon to the channel? That blue that blue Benz is actually pretty hard too. I don't even know what that is. And they got the Audi here too. That's pretty clean. What y'all think about this though? V8. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Black Benz, Rims, AMG. But I still like these G63s. I had I got a smaller version. Not for me though, but uh you know what I mean? The youngsters. I like this one right here too. I actually do like these G. Trying to see what the uh This is 2019. Damn. Ooh, big sticker price on it. Feel me? I would definitely have to finance that. I mean, I could cash out on it, but no, I'd rather finance it, build up some more credit, see if we can get some some uh, different vehicles. But yeah. I'm going to go upstairs. I did like that Porsche GT3. Look at the door. Oh, they got the Tycoon right here, too. Hold up. Ooh. That's nice. I don't know if y'all can see that. This is clean, though. Yo, I actually... I like this. It's electric though. This is the electric version, right? The Tycon is real wheel drive too. 
It's different though. It's kind of aggressive right here with the eyes like that. With the lights. That was pretty clean right there. Man. Sitting pretty pretty low too. What y'all think about that? Huh? This is something different. Y'all they got the bike this time. I haven't been on the bike. Oh, the Cotty too. I know these things is fast. Man, I'll be on the dirt bikes. I don't really be on the motorcycles. I mean, I do, but man, I haven't been on the bike in a minute. I had to go back on the dirt bike and get that comfortability back on. You know what I mean? That's fast. I I I have to go on something smaller. Oh yeah, there it is. They got it back. This is clean. They still got the big spoiler. I think it's just the same one they had last time. No, this is different. The last one didn't have a spoiler like this. Ooh. What y'all think, eh? What y'all think? Mm hmm. I like this. Let's bring something like this to the channel. Big frog eyes. This is 2016. Dang. Ooh, we gonna have to work something out. 20, I don't even know how many miles is on here. How many miles is on here? You don't say. Yeah, dude, 16 miles. 16,000 miles. It's not bad. Sheesh. 2018. Hey man. Yeah, I'm doing good. Thanks, man. This is not bad either. 2018. This is pretty clean. And it's manual too. I actually do like the manual guts in there too, burgundy guts. I ain't red either, that's burgundy. What y'all think about that? And it's blacked out, but they got the, the brake calibers. They got the brake calibers red. What y'all think, it's all black. And we can customize it and get it something like that. What you think? Too. I ain't never seen something like this with this color. They got the big red calibers on them too. What y'all think? And it's tinted out, y'all. Let me see what year this is. I'm pretty sure this is the newer version. Uh, yeah, no, this is 2019 too. 2019. It's clean right there. I like this too. 
turbo. It's a nice size. And they got the, uh, oh, that side's locked. Yo, glass roof. I like the color of the seats. What's the about these seats? Oh, you got the Cayman started up. Jeez. How that sound? That's hard. You got the extra space in the back as well. Plenty of space. Oh, and it lights up. This is nice. Nice tan color. Just think about this, y'all. Pretty nice height off the ground as well, too. Not too high. Got the white brake calibers on them. Got something in blue right here with the McCain. A little smaller than that turbo right there, but it's still spacious. I know, you're good. I'm gonna start it up right now. This one here is another. This is the older Porsche here. That was a startup with a, a Cayman Turbo right there. Or the Cayenne. I said, I said Cayman. Cayenne. Ugh. Yo, but this black right here. This is standing out right now to me. This 718 Cayman Sport. This is actually standing out. It's 2018. Yeah. Clean. But really. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get something like this. At the same time, we could always build it. If we build it, I think it'd be a better look that way. Build a car. I like it. Something like this. Stay tuned. So, uh, as long as we stay hustling, grinding, and uh, we do the important diligence, making sure we have good credit, we stay active at it, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna bring something like that to the channel. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe as well, too. Watch some ads. What up, y'all? So, I know from the beginning of the vlog, Flash y'all, little 300,000 piece, whatever, something like that. You're probably like, well, how you gonna just flash and not speak about that? So, uh, I'm gonna speak about that and give y'all some game and let y'all know that it is possible to get something like that. So, stay tuned. Had to get a quick lineup. It's been a minute. Finna get my stuff rebraided. Hopefully, sometime this weekend, I got an appointment. Oh, snap. And go with a Yeah. Gotta just get these retwisted up, you know what I mean? My hair a little wild, but you know what I'm saying? Fresh line over clean a little bit up a little bit. Get this here rebraided. Go ahead and do. Sure. 
All right, y'all, so meet y'all back at the crib. All right, y'all, so made it back to the crib. I know a little later now, but, um, uh, oh, yeah, so I was going to let y'all know uh, the whole thing about, you know, the capital of 300K. Um, so, yeah, so, yeah, um, it is possible to get this type of capital if you are operating a business and this and that um because this channel is about entrepreneurship i live an entrepreneurship life for those that you don't know if you've seen back on my blog like some years back i was working um not years back actually probably a year ago but um i, I let y'all know i was a construction worker and i also uh worked for Lyft but right now I'm working with Uber so even though um, so uh, I'm not no um, what should we call it ballet tutorian or band man cable you know what I mean but I do understand the importance of credit and business credit so personal credit and business credit uh, things like Quill you can use for like personal uh, that, like a vendor's website, quail.com. It's like a vendor that you can use for your personal and business, but it really looks good. I pretty much either or um, when it reports to your your business credit or personal credit. Um, so using those things to help uh, build up your score and you don't really need a high paying job to get some, these type of offers or even a high uh, personal or business credit score because uh, or even a high income for for an offer and I can vouch and say this because you know uh, you know I mean Uber Lyft you know you're probably making at least fifty thousand dollars a year you know what I mean so proof of that me actually working with Uber and Lyft you know it's not a high paying type job but it just validates that you know what i mean because i get offers as i showed y'all 300k you know sometimes even higher than that i'm not gonna show y'all too much because you know just for personal reasons and this and that but um you know having these type of uh accesses allows you to operate your business or when you're ready to operate your business you know at least you have the offer that comes to you you know what i mean being if it was um you know uh and uh it actually goes more deeper you know what i mean like i said you don't really need to have uh, a really high credit score you know you can get offers like this with below 580. you might not well the offer will come in because around that time i didn't have you know, I didn't even have a 580, you know what I mean? But it was just because the fact that I set up the company right, you know what I mean? So having like a physical address, don't be doing no virtual address, you know what I mean? Um, having a physical address, having an uh, actual business line, website, all those type of things actually matter. And it was under a LLC uh, because just I have, just having those things set up, um, you know, offers like that were coming in for me. So, you know, um, but I also was using, you know, vendors. So like I said, Quail, and then, you know, making sure you have your business, uh, business account set up properly. Um, I use the actual, um, you know, bank, not like, uh, um, like commercialized bank, you know, or sort of sense. I didn't go through like a credit union I didn't set up my company. I don't think credit unions even allow you to set up a um, business checking account, but yeah, so those were the type of things that I did. And, you know, in a result, you know, now I have the opportunity to choose when to use the offers because those offers come in, you know, on a regular. So I have, it helps the company, you know what I mean? You can, you know, depending on what you operate, you know, what industry, 
that you're in what type of offers that you'll get because you know what i mean so uh, i just decided to share this with y'all because i felt like it was really good information it seemed to be like a really good experience as well too because like i said i actually operate under um a job so you know i also was like during around that time you know i was working in the warehouse and this and that so uh, you know coming back home and seeing these type of offers and this and that just let me know just like okay yeah this it's actually possible you know uh you know that's a lot these type of offers are way higher than um you know personal loan you know just a regular personal loan from a bank you know will only get you to at least 100 100k and then you have you know probably higher interest rates and this and that you know i can go on and on where if you want certain capital but a low um you know you don't want to be paying so high but you want to be able to have the upfront money there's a there's a lot of different avenues but yeah so like i was saying i just feel like sharing this with y'all because this is an entrepreneurship channel so there's you know you're trying to be an entrepreneur and you're discouraged on uh, becoming an entrepreneur just because you know hey you're just starting or you know you're only working you know what's considered a nine to five job you think that it's still impossible that you have to have some type of career job because i also had a career job you know i was a cement mason you know i was making way more money than you know considered a regular job is because it was career so you know like 54 and stuff like that but even you don't need a career job to start up a a company or anything like that you don't need a lot of upfront capital you know what i mean so but you do need some sort of capital to get going you know what i mean but to figure out how to get access to that capital to open up that door so you get these so i was saying uh, so you get these type of you know capital offers or even you know uh credit cards you know to start up the company you know what i mean having good credit will help you get access to that so if you're trying to you know get access to you know a, a chase inc or you know there's different type of business credit cards that those upfront capitals help you get going if you choose to go that route now, i'm not saying that's the route i would go but there are different type of um accesses you know dealing with certain credit cards or business credit cards or uh different funding companies um that'll help you get up get your foot off the ground or even grants and this and that like i said i can go on and on about this but think about uh having uh maybe a little side talk with y'all uh, or even putting some information on only fans but till now so uh till now y'all can grab the free game free green free game for me all day all you want that's how pretty much i had grabbed a lot of free game off of youtube other youtubers so you know what i mean hey the information's out there it does work um so yeah y'all um hope you like hope you come hope you subscribe hope you do everything you guys want to do and i appreciate the love all right i'm out oh my bad actually i would use chasing too uh that's actually a good card but anyway all right now i'm out i'm out